The earth is made up of three main layers, the crust, the mantle, and the core. These layers interact with each other to create the dynamic processes that shape our world. The earth's crust is the outermost layer of our planet, like the shell of an egg. It is the thinnest of the three layers. There are two main types of crust, continental and oceanic. Continental crust makes up the continents or landmass. It is thicker and less dense than oceanic crust. This crust is mainly made of granite, a rock that is light-colored and rich in minerals like quartz. The continental crust can be between 30 and 70 kilometers thick and is often much older than the oceanic crust. Oceanic crust lies beneath the oceans. It is thinner and denser than continental crust. The oceanic crust is mostly basalt, a dark-colored rock rich in iron and magnesium. It is typically around 5 to 10 kilometers thick and is younger than continental crust because it is constantly being formed and destroyed at mid-ocean ridges and subduction zones. Beneath the crust lies the mantle, a layer that extends much deeper into the earth and connects to the core. The mantle's movement and properties influence the surface features we see, such as mountains and earthquakes. It extends from about 5 to 2,900 kilometers below the surface. The mantle is made up of rocks which are mostly silicates, including minerals like olivine, garnet, and pyroxene. It also contains magnesium, oxide, and other elements like iron, aluminum, and potassium. The mantle is divided into several layers, the upper mantle, the transition zone, and the lower mantle. The upper mantle includes the lithosphere, which is solid and firm, and the asthenosphere, which is softer and partially melted. Between the upper and lower mantle lies the transition zone, a region where the mantle undergoes significant changes in mineral composition and density. This zone extends from about 410 to 660 kilometers below the surface. Below the transition zone is the D double prime zone, a complex and less understood part of the lower mantle. This region, extending from about 660 to 2,900 kilometers deep, is characterized by variations in temperature and pressure, which influence mantle convection and the movement of tectonic plates. Below the mantle is the core, the deepest layer of Earth, where extreme heat and pressure give rise to a different set of conditions and materials that influence the planet's magnetic field. The core is the innermost layer of Earth and is composed mostly of iron and nickel. It is divided into two parts, the outer core and the inner core. The outer core is liquid and lies below the mantle. It is about 2,900 to 5,150 kilometers deep. The movement of the liquid iron and nickel in the outer core creates Earth's magnetic field. The inner core is solid and is located at the very center of the Earth, about 5,150 to 6,350 kilometers deep. Despite the extreme temperatures, the inner core remains solid due to the immense pressure. Together, these three layers, the crust, mantle, and core, form the structure of our planet and shape the Earth as we know it. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.